G'day and welcome back to another speedrunning video here on my main YouTube channel. You won't see many of these because my goal is to occasionally publish my new personal bests. And honestly, if I did another run that maybe shaved only a few seconds off in you, you might not see that. Well, you might because I'm quite vain. Uh, but, <laughs> but this one, this is amazing, right? Much like the previous one of these videos, there are so many things that I know, and as I'm running, I know I could be doing better, right? You'll see uh, navigating to the fortress later on, I was really struggling, and there are a lot of points where I thought I'd just throw in the towel. This run, I sat down at my computer, it was evening here in Melbourne, I sat down at my computer and thought, you know what, I've got stuff to do, but I'll do one practice run. Just do one and see how I go, see where it takes me. And of course, this is the one that I just kept going. So there, look, I nearly, <laughs> I nearly made a hoe. <laughs> and it, like the crafting is just so lethargic compared, you know, you watch you watch the, the big guys, the curry way of Feinberg or Tylenol. No, what's his name? Xylenox? I always forget his name. Uh, those, you know, the world record people, you watch them crafting. It's a whole other plane that they exist on. It just, my brain can't deal with that. So anyway, this is what you get with me. We, I try to make these entertaining uh, and hopefully educational in some way or another. But this is the early game, right? I need some stone tools and I think that's exactly what I do here. My usual thing to do is to go um, a stone pick to start with. If I can get a bit of iron cooking to start with, that's great. But at least as a minimum, the, the rest of the stone tools as well. Um, just just to give me that leg up. It's so easy to get the, what is it, nine, nine cobblestone to build out a full set of tools. Uh, and so that's that's what we've got going on here. This gets me going and I'm, I, everything's got to be in the right order, right? I'm, I'm sure everyone's the same, but if I have them in the wrong order, I get all real. I just can't do it because muscle memory is what lets me, um, uh, ha, ninja. <laughs> muscle memory lets me switch between some of these things. I should really, mm, I should do that for the whole hot bar. I, I noticed before with the crafting, quite often I roll my mouse wheel to, to do the selecting on the hot bar. It's so slow. And great that we've got a gravel patch here, but how many is that? Four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, nine, ten, eleven, flint, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Come on, flint, 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 please, flint. <clears throat> you get the idea. Yeah, I'm checking to see how many I've done. Oh, it's so stupid. Get out of us, get out of my pockets. Hmm. And this is amazing. I cannot believe there are no mobs here. I was like. Even while I'm digging, I, you can see that I'm trying to get an angle on, on the, uh, the corner there just to make sure there's nothing coming around. But there are no mobs. I've just got the mob-free cave. Maybe I've played some kind of bingo card here or I don't know. But anyway, it's great. So this, this has got heaps of resources, this little spot. And, and this, gets me, um, this, this gets me really well set up in here. I'm, I'm good to go. Two furnaces gets me... Um, Twice the, the efficiency, of course. I'm always trying to do at least two now. If if I'm doing this strat, right, this is this is the complete village and oceanless strat of grab some food to start with. And uh, I think from memory, hmm, I will need to check as we go, but I think that might be all the food that I end up using on this run. One of the joys of, of doing the faster speed runs is uh, you don't need as much food because you're not spending 20 minutes just running through the nether, <laughs> which seems to be very common. So there we go, iron pick, and we level up, and off we go. I can rubbish bin. There, it's important, of course. Uh, so <laughs> very, very important. But now it's just a matter of I just want to get as much as I can of everything. Uh, a very conspicuous lack of wood you will notice uh, in my inventoire. Um, that may or may not come back to haunt me later. <laughs> but it doesn't. didn't seem to be a problem. I think that's actually the moment. I saw my mouse just hover over the wood there. Um, that was the moment where I was like, um, hmm, do I go back up? I know I'm not far down. That was only a few blocks that I had to, had to dig to get down. 
Now the old uh, <coughs> waiting game of just everything cooking. Um, what am I going to do from here? Right, so the, the biggest concern, of course, not going back up to the surface, is not getting water. So I'm hoping that whatever caves I would run to from here, and I'm definitely already pondering the fact that I need to go down instead of up, and we're going to try our best to get water. I'm not going to worry about gold. Gold can come in the nether. Uh, at the moment, I know that I'm going to leave these furnaces here. Um, get rid of some more stuff, and uh, and that's it. I'm 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 going to be I'm going to be going from here and hoping that we get ourselves into the nether. Um, probably don't need as much iron as I'm getting here. Um, I think this now might just be building blocks again. Good forethought, Richard, while you're waiting. Do something useful with your time. I tell you what, my wife would be very proud of this. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, I'm often caught... You know, waiting for the dishwasher to finish or the washing machine to finish. Ah, okay. This is one of the moments where I think something interesting. This is the thing. This was not a run that I was expecting to go really well. So I think at that moment, uh, Bread Bridge might have been uh, exploitificating. <laughs> if you know, you know, right? Uh I don't know, six minutes into a video. I, actually, I can't. We can't line it up with Skiz's video. But I definitely was watching Skiz and then Tango's uh, videos while I was doing this run. Uh, I can't remember if there are any other spots that I paused. There may well be. Oh, I'm getting distracted by something. Richard, stop looking at the other screen. Now we're off. This is all absolute just chaotic mess. Just trying to, to, to get as low as we can get. I creep up, not stopping for anything. I've realised, of course, no shield means trouble. Uh, and Richard, water! Richard, the water! Good boy, Richard. Well done. And then I think we follow the natural flow and hope for the best. Do I? Hmm. I'm not sure. I think maybe on this run I do get some... No, I don't think I stopped for any diamond. I think this is literally just trying to get down to a lava pool. Uh, there was that, which is no use. Uh, and bingo! Look at this. I'm worried here about something falling on my head that isn't raindrops. Uh, and so, of course, um, I'm really just hoping that I don't get shot off into the lava pool. This is the one and only... You'll recognise this from the last run. This is the one and only... Um, forge, but, but what are we calling? Portal? Nether portal? That I know how to build? I, <clears throat> there are others, and there's a great practice world that I've got uh, that lets you um, experiment with different portals and, and try out different designs, but this is the one and only that I can do. I've learnt doing this that I need to put a little barrier on the back there to stop the water flowing out. But off we go. I mean, look, this is the thing, right? Doing this. If I can build a portal that fast and and have it work, I don't need anything quicker. I'm not going for world record. I am literally doing this just to have fun. And uh, and we're in to the Nether. Check for lava on the head. Do I check for lava on my head? Nope. I don't this time. I normally try to. Up oh, there we go. We've got good entities out that direction. Uh, what I do have to try and do is get gold. Uh, and of course, being in a crimson forest means there's a very high likelihood of having something chase me. <laughs> Bastion! Look at that straight away. Great. You'll know if it's a run where I'm getting a PB that we're going to have pretty straightforward nether routing. Uh, I'm looking for gold. And I can't get up. Looking for gold. Looking for gold. There's going to be piglins around me. Come on. There's one. Looking for gold. <laughs> nether wastes. Maybe not so much. Bingo. This is a little pig. Ooh, I can hear it. <laughs> and check out this matrix maneuver, you ready? Watch this, watch this. Bullet time. 
<laughs> so close. Stupid little pigs. All right. And this is the closest to death. <laughs> I reckon one, one more hit with that, I would have been a goner. I reckon. <laughs> Woo! The panic, the panic sword action there, of course, is, uh is a really good indication that I was feeling just mildly stressed. But, right up, gold boots, and that means we are in. Um, again, if you watch the pro speedrunners run this, what's the name of the strat? They go up the top right there and grab the gold uh, in the staircases. I'm not going to do that. My preferred option here, again, I'm just... Not going for the best time in the world. Just trying to do the best I can do. Oh, and I didn't jump. I'm so lucky there that I missed the jump. Um, but yeah, this this is the route that I prefer to take. Uh, thank you, Generous, for your tip on this. I will. I shall never forget that you gave me this quick tip. This is just stopping any piglins from coming onto this platform and dropping onto my head. Did I just miss a spot there? I don't know. Uh, one thing I have learned is every now and then you'll get a spawn, like a, a, a um, terrain in here that still lets piglins drop from slightly higher onto the onto the bridge above me. Something you got to watch out for. Thankfully, this time, um, usually I'll break a block or two. I really should make the gold ingots just in case um, I do get company and I'm worried. <laughs> just notice there. How um, how close I was to the edge, <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Uh, thankfully, we don't get any uh, any visitors from above for this one. Uh, good loot there. Uh, still just a little bit nervous about this. Yep, very good, Richard. Nice to be safe, Richard. Oh, what was that hitting the? Did I drop a couple of those then? I don't know. Now, kind of just biding my time, waiting for them to forget who I am, and it looks like they've pretty much forgotten. Uh, I've noticed on the right over there, there's a good little collection of those dudes, so that's where I'm going to head. And I'm just hoping that um, I can attract a few in with the gold. And look at this! I get visitors straight away! There they go. Come on, dude. There we are. Uh, I've got another one here. This guy is annoying. He's like, no, nah, I don't see you gold. I'm not coming in. No, nah, no. Nah. Bye. Not interested. I'm like, ah, come on. I think this was... So, what's really weird about this, if you've ever seen me streaming these, I do get a little bit carried away. We enjoy it. We do enjoy it. But I do get a bit carried away. When I'm playing like this when I'm on my own, I am in absolute silence. And I know to many of you, that would be very, 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 very considerably hard, very difficult to believe. Uh, <laughs> but I am, I'm sitting quietly. I think that was one of the points where I probably let out a little... <laughs> But this is good. I mean, this this point here, I'm feeling fairly good, right? I have great inventory management. Um, you know, I'm not carrying things I don't need. That leather could probably go. Yep, the go. Cool. Um, I did throw out some uh, some gravel a second ago, which I will need. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. We're doing okay. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I got the gold back. I can't... Yeah, we'll have to see what we do here. I'm vaguely remembering that I had to go and, and do a little bit more trading in a second, but let's see how we go. Uh, one thing I could be doing already, of course, is... Uh, here we go. Is calculating if there is a uh, nether fortress or a spawner, at least, nearby, which there is. But this is the start of where I get just a little confused. I think I'm just trying to hurry a little bit too much. And so that came up at nine there, right? At, at nine chunks, I got that little blue sliver in the bottom right-hand corner to show up. So now what I'm trying to work out 
if I cross chunk borders, where does the blue pop in again? And spoiler alert, it doesn't. And I'm I'm just this this is the bit where something wasn't right. Sometimes when it's a corner boundary, it won't show up properly. That's uh, Guffy gave me help working that one out. Thank you, Guffy. Um, but I'm just I'm a bit perplexed. I know I've got to get back in. They're still trading at the moment. But yeah, something at the moment. Uh, there you go. Go on. I'm using my my hotbar keyboard keys to select tools, which is why that chart keeps changing on me. That happens all the time. I look down, I'm like, what's happened to my chart? Oh, I just hit the number two, which changed, changed the chart. Okay, so again, now it's at 10, right? So uh, I'm like, well, surely I can make it work now, but no, no. Yeah, and this guy, just I just had to get out of my way, so I should go away. So yeah, so I'm I'm stumped at the moment. I'm utterly utterly stumped about what's going on. I've got a few more friends turn up, but at the moment I've got 16 obsidian. 20 obsidian means I should be able to do the uh, the nether, um, you know, the extra calculation and build another portal. Come back through to the nether to to hopefully route directly to the stronghold. Um, I think at this moment, oh. Actually, what am I doing at the moment? I've got 25 obsidian. Uh, oh, I'm trying to... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still just trying to find where that spawner was. I'm so... And so, at this point, I'm just like, I give up. Like, I'll, I'll get back upstairs. Um, I'll do... I'll get out into the open area, and I'll have another crack. But I'm... I'm tr all I'm trying to do at the moment... All I'm trying to do is to trigger the the spawner to, to show which direction I need to run. I'm like, well, maybe it was the other way again. So I'll keep crossing chunk borders going back this way. I think I even jumped down into these lava pools. I'm so confused. See, I'm just like, I'm lost. Utterly lost. Yep, we go down here. It's a risky play, Cotton. <laughs> but nothing is triggering it. I just can't, in the, I'm going in corners, I'm doing everything I can. Oh, so I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know whether I've just gotten everything out of whack. But just down here, I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's do this again, right? Stretch out the render distance. Pop, open the chart. There it is. It's coming up, so... 11... There you go. Right. I finally got one. So it was now it was a bit further away than it, than I was expecting it to be. And off we go. I need ender pearls in the hot bar. Being only 12 chunks away means that's pretty close. And I was regretting not taking a, uh, a fire res there, actually. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen. I'm expecting it to be here any minute, any minute. And there it is. In that left corner. And this is the point where I, I'm like, okay, let's be a little bit smart with this. I was hoping to land on a tree there, actually. Um, but now we are... Hup, we're in! Uh, I'm very close to death again. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I get meleeed here and I'm very close. Very, very close. And this guy, if that guy got a hit in, I would have been gone. But I played it well, and we're off now for plays. One for one. Let this play for a second. We've lost that guy. Come on. Yeah. And somehow I caught that through the fence, which is great. But this is, this is pretty much uh, standard play now. Uh, I'm just going to open up this area uh, and just hope for good RNG from the Blazers. Again, I still think at this point, I, from memory, the first time I looked at the clock was 20 minutes. So that's, that is, it's only a minute away, obviously. That was where I thought, hold on a minute. I've got 10 minutes left to get 
to the stronghold, find the portal, and get through to the end and kill the dragon. And I honestly th thought this was a lost cause by now. Well, soon. I don't know if you'll actually see me behave in any way that sort of gives us that indication. But yeah, I was starting to think, you know what? I, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm probably not. This is not going to work. But I kept going, and that's that's the thing with practicing, and that's what you'll see if you ever come and watch me streaming these. Uh, it's the practice is the thing that that counts, right? Couldn't have got where we've gotten at the moment if we hadn't have been practicing. So I think I've got enough. Yeah, I've got seven at the moment, which to me is fourteen uh, eyes vendor, and I'm sort of thinking, you know, I could probably go with just enough. But if given I've got twenty five or now fifteen um, obsidian left, then I'm going back through. I'll grab another couple of another couple of blaze rods on the way through. But let's do the calculation now and see where we need to go. Uh, I guess something was going on in 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 the video I was watching again. <laughs> oh no, I was opening the bot. I never have the bot open. That's right. I had to, <laughs> had to open the bot. <laughs> up, up, where, where, up, and I couldn't, didn't trust myself getting the calculation through the through the portal like that. I'm sure it would have worked fine, and of course it's stuck on the tree. <clears throat> And I actually thought right in the middle of the tree, but it's not quite. So what you're about to see, this is the Ninja Brain bot. This is the one bot that's approved to calculate. It sort of just is a math, a math shortcut. What it's going to do is I'm going to drop my sensitivity right down so that I can really precisely line up with the left side of that pearl. Um, and there we go. Using that one calculation, we've got... 2.4% certainty that the stronghold is 1,100 blocks away from where I am at the moment. So uh, I've never thought to do this before. Those of you that are regulars, using the ender pearl to get away quickly and and um, do a second. So this is triangulation, right? I'm just doing a second one of these and letting the game do the maths or letting this bot, the Ninja Brain bot, do the maths on where this stronghold might be. And we now have a 16.5% certainty that uh, it's actually now 1,800, or nearly 1,900 blocks away, which is not, that certainty is not great. But again, at the moment, I just think, you know what? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to go and uh, just, just deal with whatever. If we end up spawning um, nearby, then we'll just try and work it out and get through. Again, at 21 minutes, a sub-30 run to me is feeling a little bit out of, out of reach at the moment. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, and I actually lose the portal here. I can't find it. And I'm like, it's got to be... There it is. But I was so, so stumped as to where that should be. Um, yeah, so, okay. So, see, it says nether cords there. 240, 148. So that's that's where I'm going to get back in and make a portal based on this calculation. Grabbing wood for the beds. And I, I got heaps of string emitted to go. So I've definitely got enough to make beds at 27. So that's nine beds there. With more string, actually. Uh, more fire res on. And off we go. I'll grab another couple of blaze rods. And then we'll do the math. Actually, I'm trying to do the math at the moment. So 270... What? Oh, it's gone. But anyway, we're, we're going to do the... <laughs> That's right. The bot only stays online for, for for us to see on this screen. It's open on another screen for me on the, on the computer. But um, yeah, we've got we've got the coordinates. Know where I need to go. And in fact, I think that one, and I was like, that's it. I'm out. I'm not going to bother with any more. Let's just go and build this next portal. So 240, so this is exactly the X that I need to be on, but we've got a little bit to travel on the Y, because we gotta um, navigate the lava, navigate the Enderman back there. <laughs> Anything at this point, any one little slip up now is going to, going to mean we're going to fail dismally. So this, yeah, I think this is the point where I was... Mm, 
I've, I vividly remember being stressed. I'm worried about hitting the roof here. Vividly remember getting stressed. Uh, really stressed for the first time as I went into the end. And that was it. That was the first time where I looked at the clock and went, Oh, hang on a minute. I might still have this. <laughs> but, yep, for now, we're just trying to get to the right spot, which is, I think, right here. So we've had a few of these calculations, usually with a bit more of the the certainty of where it is. I've actually had a few now that have literally taken, taken me directly into the stronghold. Uh, it's pretty amazing. When that happens, it's great. Unless I'm relying on the overworld to get something. <sighs> so we're not in the stronghold. And I actually thought if I threw that pearl there... Uh, or I vendor that I might actually ooh, don't have a don't have a shield. I actually thought that I might be able to get to the stronghold just by I mean we must be close, right? When we've missed with this bot, we're usually pretty close. So I'm just trying to find where to go. That's just down to a lava pool. So we're close, but I can't see it in here. So, take the risky move, dig straight up, just like every good Minecrafter should do. <laughs> and I'm digging with gravel too. So, the fear here, of course, is getting lava or gravel under my face uh, as we go up. But, um, as you could probably tell, that didn't actually happen. It doesn't mean I wasn't stressed at this point. It was going to 25 minutes now, well and truly thinking to myself, eh... I don't, I don't think I've got this one. This is, this is going to be close, but I've got a route through the stronghold, look for the portal room, and that's going to take me three hours, sure, surely. And then we've got to wait for the dragon to perch, which will take another seven hours. But anyway, here we go. Oh, that's the pearl I threw a minute ago. Oh, I only just realized that that was that. That's great. Came all the way up through solid blocks. We've had two break. Can you believe it? But I still have that one extra, uh, one extra blaze rod there. And of course, I'm in just the right spot. I'm thinking that, that, uh, eye vendor might come up again. There it is. And we're going for three, three. It's sometimes I find this really hard to do. <laughs> 26 minutes, 26 minutes, 26 minutes. Are we going to do it? Oh, <laughs> I'm relying wholly, solely, wholly, solely, guacamole on a very easy navigation here. Um, what do I do? Uh, lava on the hot bar for the silverfish. Thank you very much. Uh, check a wall just in case of trouble. Nothing in there. Can hear mobs, so not quite sure what's going to happen. Uh, closing it on 27 minutes. No, no, abandon, abandon all hope. It's not down here. Did I, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think I, sometimes I'll accidentally go back the way that I came, but this time, this just looked totally shattered and I was like, well, I'm going to give myself the benefit of the doubt and not try that and try somewhere else first and boom. Boom. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Notice that's a two-step process for me. A lot of the pros will do that in one step. And I'm stressed. This is where the heart rate went through the roof. And you'll notice I didn't stop and craft stuff like I normally do. I wanted to be in here to get the dragon that slight bit closer to perching. Um, I need all my wood. Uh, I have realized there I've got extra string so I can make some extra... Well, I've got heaps. If I can't do it at this point, then I'm never going to do it. <laughs> it's a lot of beds. It's a lot of beds. Let's go. Let's go. We can do this. Hoping, of course, that the dragon doesn't perch just yet. Because I've now spent that bit of time, bit of time doing that. Lovely, clear, central area to work with. That quick selected bed. So there's another one back in the hot bar. Run over here. I don't have hitboxes on, so I've got to quickly put them on. 
because I want to see what the head is. And she's perching that quick. Oh, but it's the wrong direction. And I'm going to leave this with you. To the clock at the moment. Is it going to be 29 minutes? 28? It's 28. Oh. <sighs> the first sub 30. And so many little things, right? The crafting, the navigating through the strong, uh, navigating through the nether and finding that fortress. Um, the calculator, working on improving just the, my skill at using that calculator to get a better probability. I might need to calibrate it a bit a bit more differently. But anyway, here we go. So we've got the seed there. Uh, it's obviously in the description of this video. Uh, another thing Guffy suggested that I should always do is list the data packs to show that there's nothing extra running in the background. Uh, and I was like, do I just quit? I think I'll just, I think I'll just quit. There's a bit of a dance for you. Mts, mts. Bit of a dance. All right, I guess I'll just quit. And I think, do I actually go to the menu? I can't remember. I think, I think I did. And then I'm like, no, we can't leave yet. We got to celebrate some more. <laughs> I'm like, well, this is that weird post run moment where I don't know what's going on. But honestly, listen, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that commentary and you got something from it. I had some fun making it. Uh, if you want to see more on the channel, hit like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in another video very soon. Oh, and come and see me on Twitch sometime. Bye.